Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here and I haven't done a what's in the mail for a while. So what's in the mail? I just got um, back from Germany actually and I received two large boxes. <laughs> I'm really excited because I know what's in here. Let's have a look. Firstly, I've received a small box and this was rather difficult to find. Um, it's an, I think it's an original Arnold shirt from the late 1970s, early 80s, which Arnold himself uh, used to sell. And I was incredibly lucky to find... Oh, Christ. Um, to, to find this, yeah, it's, it is rather old. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, how cool is that? I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait to try this on. An original Arnold T-shirt from the late seventies. I remember he used to sell these in in the magazines that I've read, Muscle Builder, etc. Um, he used to sell tank tops and this shirt. And I'm actually going to start making myself my own tank tops. Um, uh, would you be interested in, in uh, if I actually remake these, would you be interested in a tank top? Let me know. I think it's such a cool design. It's awesome. I think I should bring these back. Besides the t-shirt, the very cool old Arnold t-shirt, I have to admit I'm over the moon with this. It's an original. It's, well, it's obviously original. Uh, the first 22 Craft Sport Review magazines. Uh, the significance of this I will quickly explain. Craft Sport Review was, um, was a magazine that was in parallel running to Der Muskel Builder uh, in the, I guess, late 50s, early 60s. So it ran in parallel. I'm lucky enough to have the very first issue with Steve Reeves from 1963 um, as well as this is a co complete collection from I believe a German collector perhaps even a bodybuilder uh, Peter Duten Dutenhofer I'm not sure who he is but I don't really care the fact is I've got the original first 22 the significance of this and they're in excellent condition is that firstly this was um waiter's magazine uh the equivalent in in um germany i believe pretty sure i oh, know it wasn't no 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 my mistake no der muscle der muscle builder was yes der muscle builder was the original waiter ma magazine in germany and then it became athletic sport review that's right um cross sport review sorry it was um owned by uh what's his name the the dodgy dude that tried to con arnold into you know into sexual gay favors and um he helped arnold's career as well as albert busek who was um you know reporting and taking photography for um for this very dodgy person anyway because um Arnold wasn't well known back then. When Albert Busick first saw him, he actually started to talk to, uh, I guess, people in this magazine and trying to promote him. Der Muscle Builder actually featured Arnold's very first article, and I've already done a video on this. It's a great cover of Reg Parker's Hercules. Check that out. Amazing. I'm sure these were the magazines, by the way that Arnold used to read. I mean, if you haven't done the math yet, Arnold being Austrian, right? This was actually sold. This magazine was sold in Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. And these are the magazines that Arnold actually read as a kid, right? I mean, can you believe him seeing the cover of Reg Park and going, damn, that's who I want to be. And I mean, did he become that and more? You know, he saw, you know, this is a great photo of Bill Pearl, Steve Reeves, I mean, damn, look at that, the peak on that bicep, fantastic, the tiny waist, 
broad shoulders, V taper, beautiful. All these muscular phenomena he uh, saw as he trained and bombed him, himself up. And I'm getting to the point now, I know it's, it's becoming a rather long point, but I am extremely happy Harold Poole, damn Harold Poole, amazing. Another great photo of Reg Park from 1965 when he, I think, that's, well that's from the Mr. Universe, yeah when he won the Mr. Universe, but there you go, that's what I'm getting at. That is Arnold's first cover in history. He was only 18 or 19 years of age when he won Mr. Junior, uh, yeah, Junior Mr. Europe. If you've read his books, you will know that this was his major, his first major international competition. And he won it when he ran out of the, uh, so he went AWOL, absent without leave from the army. And he won the trophy and came, to, came back to the army with the trophy in his arms and was punished. This magazine is so difficult to find. It is probably one of the most expensive magazines in the whole world. And I've been looking for it for such a long time. And I finally own it. I haven't even read it yet. I haven't had the time to read it. But it's in absolute mint condition. Even better. This is worth a lot of money. I can't even imagine. And I'm never going to sell it probably. But, oh my god. I am so happy to finally own Arnold's first cover. I am so happy. Can't wait to go through it. And anyway, as I mentioned, I own now the first 22 bound Crash Sport Review um, volumes. I'm really, really happy. I wish I knew where the rest were because as you can see, the guy here who used to collect them put 1 to 22. Where's 22 to 44, 44 to uh, 66, etc. I'd like to own the whole damn collection. That's fantastic. Now the, uh, the last thing that I got while I was in Germany was a whole bunch of old school mags. As I told you, Der Muskelbilder was actually um, waiter's equivalent in Germany. And this box that I'm just pulling the mags out contains some of these original, very rare Der Muskel Builder magazines, and here they are. Then it became Athletic Sport Review. And then it, be it became known as Athletic Sport Journal. That's right. Oh, I don't want to drop that. It's going to drop. I'm going to take these a bit at a time. Not all at once. This guy's obviously who sold me this sold me everything including photos so I can't wait to to look at all of this yeah he sold me quite a lot of stuff I haven't even, oh, yeah. anyway. um, I'll go through the rest later so these are the first three athletic sport review they are really hard to find and they cost a lot of money too there is Arnold winning his first Mr. Universe um, in 1967 as an amateur as I told you, Dare Muscle Builder was the waiter equivalent. You recognize maybe the back. No, it's not there. This is a bit torn. There it is. Here's the um, waiter barbells. Yep, waiter publication. So this was originally uh, the first waiter publication in Germany. All right, check that out. Damn, Steve Reeves also looking swole, looking classic. So these are really, really old, hard to find. Magazines from Germany. I'm going to add to my collection. There's a whole bunch of. So after Der Muskel Builder, the magazine became known as Athletic Sport Review and then Athletic Sport Journal. And as you can see, I've got many vintage. See, these are like the Muscle Builder covers. Many vintage magazines. Pretty awesome. Pretty happy. That's basically it. I mean, oh man, check this out. Check this out. Danny Padilla. Damn! Doing a lat spread, front lat spread. Freaking looking swole. Dave Draper. Mantis pose. Amazing. 
<laughs> I'm just so happy, as you can tell. Ah, uh, oh, Serge Nubre. Now, you know what? I've seen a lot of side chest poses. That is how you do a damn side chest. Not like nowadays where they tilt and all that stuff. You pull in the vacuum. Man, I mean, he's just relaxed too. That's incredible. That's incredible. I mean, these guys were real classic, weren't they? Frank Zane. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, these these mags. I love I love these mags. Lou Ferrigno. Oh my god. So young. The Hulk. Again, Padilla. Fantastic. Probably got a few of Schwarzenegger there as well. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? I'm so happy with this um, collection that I bought. I will um, go through these in time. As you can see, I own quite a large collection. Oh, Mensa. Looking thick. <laughs> Robbie Robinson. Single uh, bicep pose. Arm overhead vacuum. Looking phenomenal. Probably after his first shot of Prima Bolin. Um, that is just awesome. I'm so happy with this collection. If you've enjoyed, I know this has been a very long video. But um, I haven't done What's in a Mal in a, in a while. And I thought this collection deserved it. If you've enjoyed the video and wish for me to do uh, any reviews on them, I know it will, you'll have to wait a while. Um, but um, yeah, just let me know if there's any specific one you'd like, to, you'd like for me to review. Um, anyway, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And one final thing. I know a lot of you ask me, um, or say, actually comment, well, you, you should have more subscribers. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. If you want me to have more subscribers, you can actually help some, by simply sharing my videos. Tell your gym buddies, whatever, whoever you speak to about bodybuilding, about my channel. If they're into the classic look, into the golden era, just spread the word on your Facebook, on whatever. Share the love, and I'll keep uh, doing my best. Thank you. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.